In this video, I will show you how to get a regular hill climb SBR4 to do something like this. Alright, first you have to grab a regular hill climb SBR4 with dual clutch transmission. Use the dual clutch transmission because it has 7 gears and the sequential only has 6. Alright, once you have your SBR up, you can open the menu again and go to the vehicle config. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the body tab and go straight to the engine. Once you're at the engine, just remove the muffler and add the nitrous oxide system. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to the front suspension and add the Folk ET73 18 by 10 inch front wheels. Once you have those on, add the racing front tires. And then go to the rear suspension and add the Folk ET73 18 by 8 wheels and give it the sport tires. Once you have those steps done, you can go to the tuning section, uh, reduce the fuel to 30 liters, reduce the base torque split to 60%, reduce the final drive ratios for both differentials to 0.396, max out the RPM and the boost for optimum power, and now go down to the suspension and give the front suspension and decrease the front ride height to 0.04 and increase the rear ride height to zero. Next thing you could do is put the rear camber to zero. I don't know if it does much with the car's top speed. Next thing you have to do is decrease the front tire pressure to 25 PSI and increase the rear tire pressure to 50 PSI. Next thing you want to do is to remove the roll cage and give the nitrous oxide system to the 200 kilowatt shot of nitrous so you have the extra power to go 263 miles an hour. You can also remove other weights like the headlights and maybe the hood and stuff but I don't know if removing those does anything in the situation. Alright once you have these steps done you can start driving. I have the steering wheel UI up to show you how to correctly spin out at 263 miles an hour. First you have to get up to speed, which would be fairly difficult for someone using a controller or a keyboard, but me using my wheel wasn't that hard at all. But if you are using a controller or a keyboard, going into 2 times slow mode after 200 miles an hour should give you a bit more control over the car. Alright, once you're going past 230 miles an hour, Activate your nitrous oxide. Once you get up to 260 miles an hour, this is how you properly spin out at these speeds. If you're using a wheel, turn the steering wheel 90 degrees to the left and then quickly just turn it all the way. And there you go. The car flips over and you did a blowover. If you have a controller or a keyboard, if you just uh, go left and immediately overcorrect, you should be able to do the same thing. Uh, I have not tried it with a controller yet, but in theory it should work. Yet again, this is how you do it. Go 90 degrees to one angle and then immediately overcorrect and spin yourself out. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully I correctly showed you guys how to do a blowover in an SBR4. And thanks for watching.